So it's 10 o'clock Moscow time, and that means that we should start our webinar. Uh, so first of all, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Yelena Bayarska, and I represent the project office of the Russian of the Open Doors um, Russian Scholarship Project. Uh, before we start our webinar, and the program is very tense today, we have many guest speakers. I would like um, to once again welcome you all and um, maybe say a few words about the rules that we try to stick to during all our webinars. Um, first of all, uh, I would like to ask all participants to use the meeting chat for questions only um, and not to exchange any personal information, telephone numbers or emails, because the meeting chat is there for you to ask questions and we would like to uh, get uh, questions from you and answer as many questions as we can during one or one hour plus uh, of the webinar. Uh, and um, then uh, I would like to say a few words about the program uh, for today. Uh, we will start with a brief presentation, an overview of the Open Doors project, and um, I will be the main speaker. And I would like, um, I would, uh, will try to be um, slightly uh, brief because today, exceptionally, we have many guest speakers representing two of the best Russian universities. The first university today is Lobachevsky National Research University, represented by Valeria Zlobina. Valeria, welcome once again. And of course, one of the 10 federal universities of Russia, Kazan Federal University, and we have five speakers today, and um, uh, we have already um, had uh, uh, Kazan Federal University as our guest university during one of our webinars, and Igur Hasamova will introduce all speakers representing different degree uh, programs run by Kazan Federal University. And I, I have a piece of advice to everybody. So I suggest you listen to the presentations first, and then if during the presentation, either I or our guest speakers did not provide you the right information, the necessary information that you may need to proceed from one stage of the open doors competition to another, then of course we are here for you and please use the meeting chat to ask questions. My colleagues from the project office are there for you uh, to assist you in finding the right info that you may need. And without any further delay, I'm going to share my screen and start my presentation. Here we are. Okay, so uh, hopefully you can see the screen and I am going to start now. Only I will go to this full screen, uh, full screen mode. Um, so, uh, the Open Doors Russian Scholarship Project. So um, uh, the project is organized by the Association of Global Universities. And it's been organized for many years already, for seven years already. And uh, it is organized um, with the, uh, in close collaboration with the, the government of the Russian Federation, represented by the Ministry of Science and Higher Education and Ross Satrudnichistva Agency. So seven years, and during these seven years, thousands and thousands of international students um, have taken part in our intellectual competition and thousands and thousands have come to Russia to study uh, after receiving a scholarship of the Russian government. So why the open doors? Why should you opt for this particular uh, competition? So first of all, uh, because uh, of the benefits that uh, winning the competition offers. Uh, and what are the benefits? So uh, actually the winners get a scholarship and this scholarship covers uh, all your education expenses. Uh, if you apply or if you have one, if you are one of the winners in the bachelor's track, four years of bachelor education, five years of specialist education, two or three years for the master's track, and so on. So the scholarship covers education expenses. Uh, it does not cover um, travel expenses uh, or any other expenses, but all expenses related to you getting your degree in Russia 
um, is covered by uh, are covered by the scholarship. And on top of it, winners have the right of tuition free education, um, tuition free intensive Russian language course run by the university where you are planning to study. Uh, so um, these are the benefits that uh, we offer. And on top of it, on top of um, a very good education, winners will definitely enjoy uh, a very engaging and vibrant uh, life on campus, student life on campus. And campuses of Russian universities are very modern and equipped with all, everything, all modern conveniences that uh, and all amenities that you may think of. And, and then, of course, the Open Doors uh, Russian Scholarship Project is organized online. So this is a very uh, convenient format that allows you to uh, take part in the stages of the competition, no matter what country you reside in uh, uh, and no matter where you are. And the only thing that you um, have to uh, uh, make sure of is a stable Internet connection. And that's it. And of course, there's no participation fee. So it's very comfortable for everybody to take part in the stages of the Open Doors Russian Scholarship Project. So having said that, um, I'm passing over to um, some of our terminology. So this year uh, we are having four tracks, uh, bachelor, master, doctoral and postdoctoral tracks. And today we're having a, a webinar mainly for our prospective bachelor students. So I will focus a little bit more on that. Um, subject areas, uh, you may have read about uh, the sub our subject areas in the rules of participation and the subject area, uh, basically speaking, is a, a set of degree programs having the same theoretical basis. Uh, run up or runners up, uh, this is a very important uh, term that you have to remember um, because uh, if uh, winners of our competition for one reason or another decide uh, not to um, take the advantage of having the scholarship, then uh, runners up, one of the runners up will definitely get the scholarship to substitute one of the winners who um, decided not to come and not to study for personal reasons, uh, medical reasons or some other reasons because life is sometimes unpredictable. Um, so um, tracks. Um, and formal requirements for your uh, for the submission of your uh, uh, documents. So for the bachelor track, the only um, formal requirement is submitting your uh, or uploading your uh, uh, gen uh, certificate of general secondary education (GCSE), and that's the only uh, formal requirement, and it should be done no later. Um, then uh, the deadline for submission and a certificate of education should be uh, obtained no later than in the summer of 2025. And for the master's track, it's a certificate of uh, higher education, at least that of a bachelor. For the doctoral track, uh, uh, a certificate of higher education, at least that of a master or specialist, because many countries still have uh, this degree program, specialist uh, five-year degree program. And for the postdoctoral track, um, your first thesis, uh, uh, your first doctoral um, degree uh, certificate. Um, here are the tracks. Uh, that uh, we uh, um, here are the subject areas that we offer this year, and uh, there are thirteen uh, open door subject areas ranging from business and management to economics and econometrics. And please keep in mind that uh, under each um, subject area, you have numerous numerous degree programs. So if you want to specialize in business and management, and if you check the universities having those uh, degrees, you, you can see lots of uh, degrees, um, bachelor degrees and master's degrees uh, related to business and management. Um, uh, please keep in mind that you uh, may decide to take part in two uh, competitions in two subject areas. Usually these are related subject areas. For instance, business, business Business and management, and then economics and econometrics. But please keep in mind that you um, you will win uh, if you win, if you become one of the winners, you will get only one scholarship. So at the end of the day, you will have to choose only one subject area and only one degree uh, program that you would like to specialize and get a degree in. So this is a, an important piece of information, um, provided you want to uh, try your hand um, in two subject areas. Number of stages. So uh, it, uh, the number of stages varies from track to track. And for the bachelor track, you have 
two stages, um, same uh, for the master's track. The first stage is a portfolio competition, and the second stage is an online proctored test. Three stages for the doctoral track, and also three stages for the uh, postdoctoral track, which I'm not going to comment on because today, obviously, uh, we have many speakers and we're having a webinar for um, prospective bachelor students. So what is stage number one uh, for your track? So it's a portfolio competition, and I'm sure most of you have already taken the entrance test. The entrance test was there for you to uh, try your hand and to confirm your ability to cope with the online test of the uh, second stage. So um, when it comes to the portfolio section proper, then uh, the uh, structure of the portfolio is here for you. And um, it, it, is, it comprises three sections. The first stage is your certificate of education. Second is a letter of motivation. And the third one is uh, the so-called achievement part. So um, very often we get questions from our participants uh, about uh, the letter of motivation and structure and formal requirements. There are actually no formal requirements when it comes to the structure, uh, what to write about, and the length. Uh, of the letter of motivation, um, it, it, you can use as many words and uh, as you feel you, you should use to explain your rationale for uh, taking part in the open doors competition, uh, to explain your reasons or the reasons behind your decision to come and study in Russia and whatever you may think of. So no formal requirements, but the major idea behind the letter of motivation is to explain your rationale for choosing your degree program for coming and start uh, for coming um to russia and enrolling in one of the degree programs at one of the uh, russian universities the achievement section um the more the better the more diplomas the more certificate you upload to your portfolio the higher your score will be and please uh check the deadline for the submission of your portfolio december uh, sorry november the 20th so time is flying really fast so the deadline is coming. It's very soon. So um, please check if all the documents are in place. The results of this section will be published in your personal accounts. No need to, to search for this info anywhere. So you will be informed uh, using your uh, personal account on the 2nd of December. Uh, those of you who um, will proceed to stage number two. Stage number two, the second stage, the second round is a problem solving uh, challenge, as we call it. And this is a proctored online test. Before taking this test, you will have to, to um, uh, do a couple of things. So first of all, you will have to register once again and upload um, some additional uh, identity documents. And it's done to ensure a fair uh, and independent completion of the test. So it's done for, um, for you. And uh, then you will have to choose a suitable time slot during uh, the days, the main days of testing, uh, which is December the 5th, December the 7th. Um, and uh, uh, having chosen this time slot, um, you will have to get online and uh, do this test, uh, two tests if you have registered for two subject areas and one test if uh, you have registered for only one. And uh, please keep in mind that for each subject area, there's only one date on which you can take this test uh, during a time slot or the time slot that you uh, that you choose. Uh, but as I said at the beginning, life is sometimes unpredictable and things happen. Theoretically speaking, there is an opportunity of having a reserve date. Uh, it can be booked um, uh, in advance with prior notice. And uh, you should contact the project office, the Open Doors project office, and uh, agree on the reserve date of your testing. So the results of the second stage for your track for the bachelor and master's track um, tracks will be announced on the 17th of, of January. Um, no need to jot down the dates because the dates are there for you on the website of the Open Doors um, project. And I will show you the structure of the website and comment on the section. So the third section... 
the third stage um, is only for um, doctoral track participants and postdocs. So I'm not going to uh, comment on uh, this part. Uh, and if we have some prospective doctoral students and you want to learn more uh, about the, the competition in your track, please check the rules of participation on the website. Uh, so the announcements of the winners of the Open Doors, um, the announcement will be made uh, on the 21st of February, 2025. And again, you will be informed um, uh, um, through your personal account uh, on our IT platform. So and now I'm going to comment on the website uh, where to look for um, different types of information. So uh, this is a screenshot of our website, which I strongly recommend you to check every section and uh, serve uh, serve uh, the uh, internet trying to figure out what our universities offer so in the section about in the menu bar here you will find uh, recordings of all the webinars that we have had for all universities all guest universities all tracks so it's uh, really a very useful section where you will find a lot of useful material news is news Rules of participation, I've already said that this is a very detailed description of every stage, what should be done, in what succession, what the deadlines are, when the results of each stage uh, uh, are announced, and so on. Very important section, universities. If you go to universities here, you will get uh, on uh, this page. And there, you, uh, on this page, you will find all um, logos of all 24 universities, members of the Global University Association. And by clicking on these icons, you uh, will be redirected immediately uh, to the landing page or this or that university. No language problem, because all websites of our universities are um, at least in two languages, in Russian and in English, and many websites are in up to five languages. So no language problem. And I would advise you to check all universities to see what uh, universities can um, offer to you, because ultimately, if you have won um, a scholarship, you will have to uh, list at least six universities um, uh, in the order of preference, um, what uh, the universities that you may be interested in. So where to look for this information? Um, because uh, actually, um, now I'm going to comment on one of uh, maybe the most frequent questions that we get from our participants. Does this university run this and this program? So as I said, Russian universities offer a lot of degree programs and they are offered in two languages, which are also the working languages of the Open Doors project in English and in Russian. So if you click on the icons, one of the icons, you will get um, to the landing page of um, this or that university. And there, under the section admission, admission, sometimes in the plural, or education, uh, you, uh, you will find something like that. This is also a screenshot of all uh, of one of our uh, universities with a very detailed enumeration of all the degree programs and the languages of instruction. Here you have bachelor degree programs taught in Russian, master degree programs taught in English and in Russian, and so on, including specialist degree and residency training for prospective um, medical students. So very easy to use. So getting back, schedule, there are all the important dates. And the support section is your communication channel with us, with the project office of the Open Doors competition. So please do not hesitate um, to write to us uh, whatever question you want to, uh, you want to uh, ask us, or if you need assistance, Please, please do and use the support channel. Um, then um, uh, another very important issue is on the website also. It's here, subjects, the section called subjects in the menu bar. And this is something, um, this is actually maybe one of the most important sections on our website because it contains all the preparation materials for you to cope with the online test of the second stage. So it contains um, programs or syllabi, which are word documents, um, a very detailed description of um, all the topics, themes, uh, theoretical themes that you have to be familiar with to cope with the test. 
It also, this uh, program also contains references and reading lists and online courses, also in two languages, in English and in Russian. Um, under the subject um, section, in the subject section, you always uh, you will always find demo sample tests. Uh, and this is how it looks. So this is a syllabus. That's uh, this. Uh, this is the syllabus of uh, um, some technical uh, subject area, computer science and data science. So this is how a typical syllabus looks like, and this is um, a sample, a screenshot of a sample test for engineering and technology. And here you have uh, three uh, types of tasks: entry, uh, entry level, uh, intermediate, and advanced. And for each, for each. Um, type of task, uh, you will be awarded a different number of points. Then all your points will be summed up and ranking lists of participants will be formed. And the winners are those who rank the highest on this list. So that's uh, mainly what I wanted to tell you. Um, uh, uh, maybe a couple of more words. So uh, during our last webinar, I was asked where to find um, tests and demo um, demo tests and uh, syllabi um, of different uh, subject areas. So uh, once again, you go to subjects. Uh, and under this section, you will you click on the subject area like here, computer and data science, and then you choose your track, bachelor's, master's or doctoral. And then you uh, uh, download demo version or a uh, program of the subject area and stuff like that. So everything is there for you. And no need to worry because the website provides answers to most of your questions. And before I finish, this is uh, the uh, this is uh, an e the email address of the project office, and uh, you can also find it in the support section together with frequently asked questions and answers. Uh, so do not hesitate to write to us, as I said, and we are there for you to uh, get answers to your questions and also to provide whatever type of assistance you may need. And by having that, I would like to thank you for your attention, and I stop sharing my screen and without any further ado just to save time uh, i'm going to give the floor to valeria zlobina uh valeria can you hear me yeah sure good morning yeah very good yeah representing lobachevsky national research university from nizhny novgorod welcome valeria over to you screen yes mm -hmm. can you see a full version of my screen uh not yet not yet if you just go to the full screen mode. Mm -hmm. I have opened it actually. But we can see your screen, yes, but full screen mode. Yeah, now everything is fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Oh, uh, excuse me. Yeah, now it's okay. Yes, yeah. thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Valeria, and I'm Admissions and Academic Coordination Officer for International Students in Lobachevsky University. During this meeting, you will be informed about the available programs taught in Lobachevsky University. Please ask all the questions in this chat, and my colleagues will, uh, will answer them. Lobachevsky University is located in Russia, in Nizhny Novgorod. Nizhny Novgorod is situated on the flow of two great Russian rivers, the Oka and the Volga, and it is among top five largest cities of Russia. It is situated quite close to Moscow, only in four hours on a high-speed train or in 50 minutes by plane. This closeness to the Russian capital allows our students not only to get to Nizhny Novgorod quickly, but also to travel to Moscow during the weekends. Nizhny Novgorod is rich in history. Students who arrive in the city to study never get bored, because there are so many amenities that they can visit. For instance, museums, cinemas, concert halls, coffee shops, and a lot more. Here, the youths can find useful activities that meet their needs. Moreover, everyone may enjoy fantastic views of Nizhny Novgorod and its sunsets. By the way, Nizhny Novgorod is non-officially called the capital of sunset, so taking awesome pictures on our embankments is a must. Let's ponder uh, in, on over the Nizhny Novgorod itself. The city's motto is the city where you feel the life. 
In 2023, Nizhny Novgorod acquired a title of the youth capital of Russia, and in 2024, the cultural capital of Russia. That makes it more attractive for young people. Let's ponder over the Lobachevsky University itself. The university was founded in 1916, more than a century ago. It is located in the very center of Nizhny Novgorod and has a big campus. In addition to the main campus, there are four branches situated in Nizhny Novgorod region, where some foreign students live and study. Lectures and seminars are taught by invited representatives of the authorities of Nizhny Novgorod region, as well as by some representatives from well-known companies. Nowadays, about 25,000 students study in Lobachevsky University, and among each 1,000 900 international students from 105 countries. Current figures are given in the slides. Lobachevsky University has a large partnership. The university does cooperate with these esteemed partners via the following forms of cooperation, career days, internships, open lectures, scholarships, and grants. Everyone can find there something for themselves. Speaking about academic scholarship, we delve deeper into a participation in Open Doors Olympiad that gives the applicants opportunities to study in Russia. Moreover, Lobachevsky University itself offers their students such additional benefits as basic monthly bursary plus additional merit stipend for brilliant students, research and grant involvement, scholarship and inter internships with, from Univer Lobachevsky University industrial partners and funds. We will take a closer look at them a bit later. Thematic research scholarships to bachelor and specialist students from the Russian government and regional public authorities. And big engagement support and consultancy from the UNN career office. Let's move on to the educational programs. We will pay attention to bachelor and specialist tracks. The list of educational programs is given here. As you see, every student can choose the area they are interested in. Lobachevsky University is a classical university that implements programs from various fields of knowledge. You can scan QR codes and read more about each of them. The first educational program is international relations. This program is for those who are interested in becoming experts in field of international relations for governmental, international organizations, consulting, academia, think tanks, and the media. BA in international relations gives unique opportunities to understand the intern in and interpret and to master global politics and regional studies, to boost up global career perspective and become a part of the global network of international relations expert community. The second educational program is Fundamental Computer Science and Information Technology. The program is aimed at training experts in programming for high-tech companies of the information industry. The educational process is based on the latest achievements in this field of science and technology. The third educational program is Economics. The program provides the advanced knowledge and skills you need to work in the fast-changing world of economics and science. Students explore the economic stability, growth, and development, study the principles of microeconomics and macroeconomics, examine the governmental policy of different countries, the economics of business, and international trade and finance. The fourth program is biology. General biology program is intended to give students a broad training in the biological sciences and an opportunity to explore a wide range of elective courses. In the course of these studies, students acquire a deep fundamental knowledge in both classical biology and physical and chemical biology. During practical classes, students learn more methods of scientific research, including biochemical, biophysical, molecular biology, and biomedical research. The first specialist educational program is dentistry. In modern dentistry, much attention is given to aesthetics. With the use of modern uh, teaching methods and simula stim simulation technology, students will acquire the necessity, manual skills, and master their future profession at the highest level. Dentistry requires a combination of dental and general medical clinical thinking together with well-developed manual skills. 
After graduating from Lobachevsky University, young doctors will be ready to apply their knowledge for treating patients. The second specialist educational program is general medicine. The program is focused on the development of clinical thinking. With the development of new approaches to treatment and disease prevention, the most important breakthroughs and challenges of our times are associated with medicine. Therefore, here in Lobachevsky University, we try to look at ourselves and at medicine in a totally new way. A healthy future requires a generation of doctors with a new way of thinking and a new attitude to the patients. Let's move on to foundation programs. Lobachevsky University offers educational programs taught not only in Russian, but also in English. For those who want to learn Russian and continue their studies in this language, Lobachevsky provides several options. The first option is connected with our preparatory course in Russian. During one year, a student studies the Russian language course on the basis of a chosen specialty in Russian. The second option is the Russian language courses, where a student may learn Russian. I suggest that we should briefly mention some top bachelor programs that are popular among Russian and some foreign students. Among them are physics and chemistry with the following programs. Then you see fundamental uh, math, IT, and AI and mechanics programs. Uh, which is a quite promising direction. Then you see biology with the following scientific areas. Some more information are about economics and humanities. Speaking about extracurricular activities, the university provides a wide range of these activities. Lobachevsky University is famous for its festivals of different cultures that are held every year on the territory of the campus. There are also exchange programs and scientific conferences in which our students can take part. There are also various clubs for enthusiasts. Recently, our foreign students have gone to a weekend camp where they were involved in different types of activities. Concerning accommodation, there are dormitories that are offered to our international students. They can be of different types, either of a block type or a hall type. Each block has two rooms, um, a kitchen, a bathroom, an entrance hall. Each floor has two washing machines, clothes dryers, places for dryers, and an ironing room. Students ha may have uh, study rooms and a gym at their disposal near the campus. Uh, there are green areas, fitness clubs, and an aqua park. The costs for dormitories start from $20 per month, and the cost for apartments is nearly $340 per month. Now let's talk about the scholarships. Uh, Lobachevsky University offers an opportunity to win some types of scholarships. In Russian, it is called stipendia. There are some regional scholarships for the students that they can obtain. For example, Lobachevsky University Scholarship, Neymar IT Scholarship, Scholarship of the Department, and Scholarship of University Academic Council. Then there are some other scholarships, among which are the Scholarship of the President of the Russian Federation in Studies, Science, and Social Work, Scholarship grants of industrial partners of Lobachevsky University, for, for instance, Alpha Chance, Batanian Foundation, and Huawei Scholarship. A paid uh, internship in industrial partners companies as well. It is significant to highlight that all these scholarships are competition-based. A student needs to take part in the contest and win it, and our university will help you to do it. Let's move on to the topic that interests the students and applicants most. It is living costs. The figures are presented here in the slide. You may take a screenshot and ask all the questions in the chat. Let's sum up all the pluses of studying in Lobachevsky University. Number one is our location. It is quite convenient to travel to other famous cities like Moscow, Kazan, Saransk, and St. Petersburg. Then, science 100% since 1916. Worldwide recognition of diploma, academic mobility, and double degree programs. State-of-the-art equipment and grant opportunities for young researchers. And professional orientation and assistance of UN and career office in employment, internships, and part-time job. 
In conclusion, to frame it up, Lobachevsky University is ready to do everything so that our youth students not only develop their international skills, but also take part in different activities to make their university life comfortable and exciting. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Valeria, for your very interesting, uh, dynamic and detailed presentation of your university. And I, I was following uh, the chat, uh, the meeting chat, and I could see that your colleagues from Lobachevsky National Research University have already started answering questions. So um, before uh, I give the floor to uh, representatives of Kazan Federal University, uh, so I would like to once again thank you and please uh, join your colleagues in the meeting chat and then maybe Maybe at the end, uh, not maybe, but definitely at the end of our webinar, I will give the floor to you once again. Maybe you would want to uh, say something else and or answer some of the most typical of the most frequent questions asked. So thank you very much, uh, Valeria, for your presentation. Um, dear participants, uh, so I, I, I've been following the meeting chat as well, and maybe I will answer some of the questions and then give the floor to our next uh, guest, guest speaker. Um, so the most typical question, as far as I can see from the meeting chat, is which university is the best? Which university should I choose? So uh, obviously there are so many degree programs offered by uh, all the 24 universities that we cannot recommend and which is the best. So my advice would be to once again um, uh, serve the internet um, through our website, go to universities and click on you know, one university to another, click on the icons, checking all universities and degree programs. This is one thing. Of course, there are specialized universities, for instance, if you are planning to, uh, planning, uh, to become a doctor to specialize in medicine, there are, of course, specialized universities like section of university, medical university. But a Apart from Sechenov, many universities offer uh, degree programs in medicine. So the best way to choose would be to check uh, the 24 universities participating in the Open Doors project, check their websites and the degree programs, and also check the location of the university because of the university that you are planning to apply. Because Russia is a vast and very beautiful country. So uh, you can uh, watch some of the videos on our websites uh, where you will find all the uh, presentations of all the universities and also uh, check uh, on the internet uh, where the university is located, what this place offers, what the climate is like and stuff like that. So it's very difficult for us to recommend which particular degree program or which university to choose. But um, um, you, you have uh, an opportunity of choosing several universities. And usually the university that you um, mentioned as a priority, as number one, choice number one, um, will be the university uh, where you will um, get your um, degree. So this is a, a one of, of the rules. Um, so uh, another question was about the language that you need to perfect Russian. As I said at the beginning of my presentation, if you feel like um, you need some improvement of your Russian language skills or you want to learn langu uh, the language from scratch, then, of course, the scholarship covers one full complementary year of um, uh, the preparatory course, which is uh, an intensive and effective trust me, uh, uh, Russian language training. Uh, then um, um, there was a question uh, about um, uh, which um, which is the priority for you, the university. It's up to you. So uh, once again, you have to uh, list several universities and the university that you mentioned. The first is your priority university. And uh, that is more or less all uh, so that I wanted to say at this point. Uh, and I would like now to give the floor to uh, five speakers, the five speakers representing Kazan Federal University, as I said, one of the 10 federal universities uh, of Russia. Aigul, um, can you hear me now? Yeah, okay, welcome us again. So over to you, over to Kazan. Oh, okay, so I'll share you with my presentation just a second. Okay. So, uh, do you see? Yes, uh, perfect. Mm -hmm. So, okay, uh, my name is Aigoli. I'm a specialist of the admission office. And now I would like to tell you about our Kazan Federal University. 
So uh, Kazan Federal University uh, is one of the oldest universities in Russia, in one of the 10 federal universities in the country. KFU was founded more than 200 years ago and has 40 years of experience in educating international students. Kazan Federal University is located in the Republic of Tatarstan, in the capital of Republic in Kazan. Kazan is one of the most beautiful and interesting places in Russia and a city with a magnificent historical and cultural heritage. Kazan has thousand year history and is often referred to as the third capital of Russia. Since ancient times, the city has been a kind of bridge between East and West, which has had an interesting effect in our architecture, culture, and even atmosphere. So uh, Kazan Federal University has undergone quite a lot of changes and remaining over the entire period of its, its existence. Among the students and staff of our university were such great people as Le Leo Dalstoy, Nikolai Lobachevsky, Karl Klaus, and Ivan Simon. Uh, around uh, 40,000 students are enrolled in over 1,700 uh, programs and uh, at undergraduate and postgraduate level. The number of international students is about 12,000 from 34 countries. KFU uh, has around 369 partnership agreements with the university, research and academic centers, and from 63 countries. Our university has a good museum fund. It's about 10 museums of humanities, engineering, and uh, scientific profile at Kazan and Yelabuga campuses with about 1 million exhibits and uh, 35 uh, Fans and about years year. So um, we have several university sports facilities. Currently, KFU a university clinic in the unique example of a medical organization entering the structure of a high education institution in the framework of Russian's Ministry of Education system. Kazan Federal University uh, is one of the just few educational institutions in Russia, which offers modern, comfortable housing to all students from outside of Kazan. KFU Dormitory Campus is located in the University Village. Uh, it's a residential micro district for about 12,000 people with a medical center, drug stores, and etc. The main campus of Kazan Federal University, located in Kazan, is divided into 30 institutes and one faculty, which can be divided into three large units, natural sciences, physics and mathematics, social sciences and humanities. The university also has four branches in Nabirzhnoye Cholny, Yilaboga, Jizak, and Kiara. It's Egypt. So uh, the university offers the majority of its programs in Russian. Uh, prospective students who do, don't speak Russia are required to participate in one year language training course at KFU International Preparatory School. So uh, thank you for your attention and we will glad to see you among our students. And also uh, I would like to give a floor to my colleague from Institute of Fundamental Medicine and Biology, and she'll speak about um, medicine and biology programs. Uh, so um, thank you. That's all. Thank you very much, Agul. So uh, who's the next speaker? Let's see so, if we can see the screen. Um, Hello, everybody, dear friends. My name is Albina. So wait, give me a minute. Yeah, sure, take your time. Five seconds to share my presentation. Uh, first of all, I want to introduce uh, to our city of our Institute Fundamental Medicine and Biology. I decided to combine my two speaking to one presentation. Uh, our city is Kazan 
capital of Republic of Tatarstan. Um, uh, the population of our Republic of more than 4 million and Republic located in European parts of Russia. One hour's flight or 10 hours uh, by train from Moscow. Kazan, uh, I repeat, is clean, beautiful, modern city and most importantly safe. Uh, Kazan is known for the hosting varying world events. During the last 10 years, Kazan has hosted famous world events, Universiade, World Aquatics Championships, world, uh, FIFA, World Skills, and BRIC Summit in this year. This is a little bit about the Kazan, but now let's return to Institute of Fundamental Medicine and Biology and our program. When you're choosing university to study, the first of all, uh, you look for information about rating, facilities, and recognition of diploma in the world. Our Institute of Fundamental Medicine and Biology is the part of the Kazan Federal University uh, in the terms of subject rating, biological science, medicine, and healthcare. We occupy with the position. Our pride is the recognition of our education, higher school of medicine of our institute included in the World Directory of Medical Schools, meet the General Medical Council criteria UK, and the General Medicine a program meets European uh, quality standard and qualification of the World Federation of Medical Education. Uh, the institute consists of two higher schools, the higher school of medicine and higher school of biology. Today, more than 3,700 students from 45 countries study at our higher schools. Uh, biology program uh, corresponds to the Olympiad profile biology and biotechnology. This is the bachelor degree program taught in Russian. It means you will need to prepare to the faculty. So one way to enroll, uh, enroll by open door scholarship. Another way you can enroll by contract. Applicants take two interest exam biology and Russian language. Traditional undergraduate stu uh, study uh, uh, generally spans a period of four years. Each year is divided into semester with the typical workload of, of uh, four to six courses per term. After the first year of study, students choose their individual scientific direction. It is important for students to carefully consider their individual circumstances and goal when the planning uh, undergraduate journey. Choosing your scientific direction, you choose your scientific coursework. Uh, coursework is practical work done by the student in fulfillment of training. So now, uh, programs of higher school of medicine. I add this slide to presentation because applicants mailed me a lot of questions about studying a general medicine and dentistry program by open door scholarship. I answered everyone the same. Training in English medium program, it's only by contract. In the summer, everyone takes interest exams, sign and contract and pay, uh, pay tuition. Only after that, they become student. General medicine program totally six years in English medium, the dentistry bilingual. It means the first two years in English from the third to fifth course in Russian. Uh, now the programs of the Higher School of Medicine in Russian correspond to Olympiad profile of healthcare and clinical medicine. You can enroll by the scholarship, uh, open door scholarship. The language of all this program in Russian. Therefore, you will need to study for one year in preparatory faculty. General medicine six year program. After graduation, you will receive MBBS diploma. Dentistry five years program. After graduation, you will receive dentist diploma who can specialize in any field of dentistry. Medical biochemistry six year program. After graduation, you will receive biochemist diploma. They study bacteria, viruses, and add other organisms the better understand the chemical basis of life. Uh, they also determine the effect of chemicals uh, and medical programs such as scanner, agents, and obesity. Pharmacy five years program. After graduation, you will re receive pharmacist diploma. Uh, graduates uh, can continue their education in postgraduate programs. The institute has 45 residency programs and 24 PhD programs.
Now talk about uh, about facilities uh, to train a doctor uh, necessary well equipped clinical bases more than educational equipment simulators phantom classes and other I mean more than educational technology let's take a closer and look at each one anatomy is the basic subject for the future doctors and uh, in anatomy classes where I use plastina pyrogal table and vivet Plastination is the method of preservation of anatomical preparation, which consists in replacing water and lipids in biological tissue with synthetic polymers. The anatomical object called the plastinate. Uh, the plastinate are non-toxic, do not smell, uh, and resulting in samples that can be touched. Pirog of table allows uh, you to perform virtual dissection of male and female human body, learn and create an, an anatomy scenes uh, by systems, layers, body parts, use anatomy scenes library. Vivet human anatomy visualization system. Vivet anatomy system uh, in advanced system for learning medical level human anatomy. Every aspect of human body represented in three D dimension. Uh, medical simulation center is the virtual hospital model. This is the uh, center learners into the realistic healthcare settings. Uh, the mannequins uh, replicate human physiology and clinical uh, symptoms and uh, responses, of course. Uh, training provides an opportunity for learners uh, to train in the safe environment, whereas mistake can be corrected without uh, endangering the patient. Uh, simulation phantoms uh, classes are true for learning and improving skills of practical application of modern technology for dentists, which allows to provide qualified and professional dental care in the future. Organization of these classes is the modern and effective method to improving the quality of practical skills in uh, future dentists. With lab allows uh, students to train their surgery skills and prepare for the real work. The educational pharmacy was created for the student of the pharmacy program. Uh, this is a real model of the real pharmacy. Uh, in it allows to get the skills of making medicines, a control and analytic laboratories, engage uh, in the analysis, medicinal plant raw material and preparations. In different area of the pharmacy, student gets skill to receiving, controlling storage uh, and uh, with, uh, as well as primary accounting. The biomedical cluster of Kazan Federal University includes scientific laboratories where the bachelor and masters of biology can do their scientific experiments for different areas of biology. And also biomedical cluster includes microscopy center in which you can view a crystal lattice of elements, a cellular composition of fixed and living biological objects, get a high resolution image and so on. Uh, KFU has own university clinic, which is uh, also a practical base for the uh, medical student. And the last presentation about practical base for the Bachelor of Biology. This is a various bi biological station, mm -hmm. experimental fields uh, of research institute. The student also go to the bio station uh, of the White Sea and study the diversity on living forms. I have finished my presentation. Thanks. Uh, thank you for your attention. We are looking forward to welcome you in our programs and, of course, in our university. Thanks. Yes, thank you. Thank you very much, Albina. So will you introduce the next speaker? So please welcome Yulia Nikolaevna Gavrilova. Okay, Gavrilova. thank you. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Dear applicants, dear colleagues, so nice to meet you here. Just a second, I will start my presentation. Can you see the full screen? Not yet. Not yet. Just a second. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, now now we can see your presentation, but not the full okay. screen. Yeah, now so, perfect. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, so dear applicants, dear colleagues, or as the representative of the Institute of Management, Economics, and Finance of Kazan Federal University, I would like to uh, introduce the Bachelor's program that is run in English. However, I will also mention the programs which are in Russian and which might be at your interest. So, um, there. Are Institute runs our one bachelor's program in English. It is called Economics and International Business. What's um, important uh, to say about the program is that it was developed together with the London School of Economics and it also has its accreditation. Moreover, uh, the program is accredited by the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, or uh, uh, the abbreviation is CIMA. Uh, what it means, it means that our students are, along with the curriculum, study their subjects, which uh, prepare them for uh, professional exams at the Chartered Institute of Management Accountants. So it's one more opportunity to get a professional certification from their employers. The head of the program, the academic director is uh, Doctor of Science, uh, Tatiana Palie. She's also the head of the general management department, a professor, and uh, she is the person who will gladly uh, answer all your questions about the content of the program, about the opportunities that it offers, and uh, at the end of the presentation, I will share her contact. So feel free to uh, email her. She will gladly answer all your questions. Um, as for the students who study in the program Economics International Business, so their nationality is are really diverse. So uh, and uh, this program is popular both among Russian students as well as from students of Eastern countries, Latin American countries, and Middle Eastern countries. So here you will find a truly international community of students. Um, the program is designed in the following way. So firstly, uh, the major yeah, is management. So that is the program in management. It lasts for four years. It is in full-time format. And the language of your study is our English. So from the first to the fourth year, up to the thesis defense, that is in English. Um, the curriculum uh, and the distribution of subjects uh, among their courses is as follows. So the first year is uh, primarily devoted to the core courses, which are typical for every bachelor degree no matter what major, uh, what is your major. Uh, the second year, um, at the second year, we can find the core courses as well as the um, introductory internship. The third year is full of various electives and you can also have your professional internship uh, at the employer's companies. And you finish with the um, electives, internship and the thesis defense, which you uh, prepare together with your research supervisor. Um, the program is designed in such a way that it combines um, a multidisciplinary approach, the case study from potential employers, as well as detailed feedback from all the professors and all the staff who are, are involved in the uh, program running. So um, that's why uh, if you choose the program, you will be fully involved uh, in um, various or uh, multidisciplinary activities and um, master your major at full. Um, if we uh, divide the curriculum into uh, logical parts, uh, then uh, there are four of them. The first, uh, the so-called core courses in um, management and in economics they include microeconomics, macroeconomics, as well as the fundamentals of accounting, corporate finance. Uh, the second uh, important part concerns the strategy. 
So it's impossible uh, to study management without uh, learning how to um, develop the strategy and the strategic thinking. So here we have the um, uh, management concept, the managerial economic strategy, as well as financial management and accounting. Uh, the larger part uh, concerns analytics. So that's why here uh, we deal with mathematics, statistics, um, asset pricing and financial markets. And um, kind of um, critical thinking and analysis uh, can be found in such uh, core courses as business and management, marketing, and even organization theory. What will you get as a result? So um, we are mainly aimed at um, hard skills and soft skills. So as for the hard skills, they concern um, managing business, analyzing the business and evaluating its performance. And as for their soft skills, then we definitely um, deal with building and leading the international team, as well as development. So self-development of you as a manager, as well as your team development, including the skill of lifelong learning uh, and emotional intelligence. The students of the program have a, a chance to participate in their mobility program. Uh, currently, we have the agreement with two universities. One of them is from India, another is uh, from Beijing Institute of Technology. So uh, their students have a chance to um, study a semester in a different country. So the tuition is uh, free. And again, that's the competition uh, based um, choice. So as I have mentioned already um, at the beginning, here is the email uh, of the program academic director. And uh, if you scan the QR code, you will um, find yourself at the website of the Institute of Management, Economic and Finance, where you will find all the range of programs uh, in economics and management, which are taught in Russian. So in case you have any questions, I will be glad to answer them. That is. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yulia, for mm -hmm. your presentation. And we still have, uh, if I'm not mistaken, we still have another speaker, uh, the last speaker from Kazan Federal University. I guess is that so? So it's Abramsky Mikhail Mikhailovich. Please welcome. Yeah, okay. And while Mikhail is uh, sharing his uh, screen, Aigul, we have a question from one, one of the participants to you. So I have a question to Aigul. Uh, does your university have training in agri-food or training related to agri-food at your university? So or maybe you, you can answer. If you need some time um, to prepare the answer, maybe if Mikhail is ready, we will give the floor to him and then I'll be back to you. Uh, so, excuse me, can you tell me about uh, this question? Repeat, please. Yeah, agri-food. Agri-food uh, agri or anything related to agriculture and food processing at your, uh, at your university. That was the question. Mm -hmm. Hi. I can answer the question about. Oh, you question. can answer. Okay, thank uh, you, Mikhail. Despite thank the fact you very that much. So we can uh, hear and we can see your presentation. Yeah, okay, the, then if you can answer, wonderful. Yeah, despite then despite the fact you. that I'm IT specialist. Uh, okay. Can you hear me, by the way? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay. So you can I, start. I, I'm representative of the IT, but uh, talking about agriculture, we have the Institute of uh, Ecology and Biotechnologies in our university, but. Is, as I remember, there are Russian programs at the moment there. So, but they definitely are in charge of the food, of uh, uh, ecology, of the nature design, the bachelor and the master programs. So you can uh, try to find them on our website. But uh, uh, now I want to present my program. Uh, I'm the director of the Institute of IT Intelligence Systems. And uh, I would like to tell you about one of the programs of our uh, institute. It's the Bachelor Program Digital Products Development. So basically, first, uh, uh, first a few words about our institute. We appeared in uh, 2011 as the uh, project of 
university and IT industry of the Republic of Tatarstan and several world known companies. So we were the Greenfield where we designed the new IT education with the big um, with the big uh, power of industry involved into educating IT specialists because there was a large problems with the uh, employees on uh, the market uh, of um, information technologies and software engineering. And uh, universities that time were preparing the fundamental specialists that should be trained after they graduate from university. And uh, our goal is to prepare the specialists that uh, will have already middle level of their skills when they graduate from the university. And in this paradigm, we opened and two years ago, we established the English program, but you can, so you can have the bachelor degree in software engineering. And it's the program digital product development. It's fully English speaking program. It has the tutor support for each student because we are really thankful for our international students uh, that uh, come to study and they study in English. So our graders can work as backend and frontend developers or complex system development or robotics and uh, uh, internet of things stuff, uh, game developers who have also such track and uh, analysts or business or system or data analysts. So uh, this is the scheme of our uh, uh, educational process. So set of the disciplines, they're based on the world standard CS 2013. From the second year, our students select electives. So they decide which uh, subject uh, will they uh, teach. For example, as I told, backend or frontend or game uh, development, also the mobile development. Uh, we have also mobile application development. We have the project to work for all four years. And since the second year, we have the lab. So you can find the more information on our website. So what our students can do in our, in our institute, all our courses, all our research and projects are like in four main areas. It's the software engineering. Is AI technologies. We consider AI as the program system. So we learn how to design the program system that uses AI, the machine learning, the text mining, natural language processing, computer vision. We have intelligent robotics. So we have robots. We have uh, we do software engineering for robotic systems and also VR, AR and game development. So the entertaining, uh, we have also such, uh, such area of interest. All our students, from the second year, they go to our labs. Labs is, is or research and development or like really a, a practical industrial uh, activity provided by our labs and our com partners. Uh, so these labs are in the areas that I mentioned. So each student have uh, each student has to choose one lab, and there is the really big variety of labs, and we establish them. Uh, during all the period of our um, uh, existence. So one year after, like after um, like one year in the future, we'll have probably a little bit different list of labs because we're working with the companies. We are, uh, we are asking them about what they want to tell our students, what projects they would like to do with our students. So you can participate in that. And also I want to say that we provide really big work uh, of feedback to students because it's very necessary to understand the students, well, students' opinion, students' mood. So we have the charts, channels, and hashtag systems that is necessary to communicate. So every request in our uh, institute goes through the electronically and it can be forgotten or unconsidered. And also every semester in October and April, they have the surveys uh, for assessing their um, impressions about every subject and every teacher. And then we analyze what's going on. Well, talking about internalization, uh, we have international students, uh, 117 international students at, the, at today, uh, today's time. So pretty much every 10 students of our institute is international. They are from more than 20 countries all over the world. And uh, 31 students from that number, 
they do study on the program digital product development in English language. Others are studying in Russian language, but uh, doesn't uh, no no not any correlation between the countries and the Russian or English program. For example, we have like students uh, from Arab countries uh, or for example from Latin America. They both can study Russian program and English program. So uh, basically, these are our international students experience. Uh, you can also read full uh, experience on our also on our web page. So what I want you to tell is that we are the environment where you can come and study in English to become a great IT specialist in the area of software engineering. You can be the software developer, you can be the specialist in data analytics, uh, you can be the specialist in the game development, etc. So I would like you to uh, study in our university, in our institute. So you have, if you have any questions, I can ask. I can, <laughs> you can ask, and I can answer. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. Thank That's you. my short presentation. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mikhail. And I would like to thank all speakers from Kazan Federal University. I have many questions actually to you from our participant to Aigul and other uh, other speakers guest speakers. So, uh, Mikhail, the question is, um, does the university have software engineering in English for bachelor? So bachelor degree program uh, in software engineering. Exactly. My presentation was exactly about the English your presentation. program. Yes, yes. yes. We That's why we opened that two years ago, uh, mm -hmm. the English program directly for the students who will study English language, not only the professional subject, but also the subject like history, Russian and other. They are also taught in English language. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mikhail. More questions, um, monthly stipend. So maybe I, I would um, clarify this question by saying a few words. So on top, uh, on top of the scholarship, and once again, the scholarship covers tuition only. So all tuition expenses, all expenses pertaining to your studies, as I said, uh, all years of your bachelor degree studies, um, all years, all three, two or three years of masters and so on. So the scholarship covers tuition, all your tuition uh, expenses only, no, no accommodation or no travel expenses. But uh, each student, um, uh, Russian students or international student gets a monthly allowance called stipendia, stipend. And uh, the amount of this monthly payment varies from university to university. So we cannot tell you uh, about all universities, but it is enough to cover uh, your accommodation expenses if you reside in a student dormitory, in a student's hostel or student's hall. So uh, definitely the um, monthly payment from universities covers uh, accommodation, this, uh, this type of accommodation. And the question uh, was actually about this this monthly payment and other additional sources of expense from Kazan. So what is the monthly payment at Kazan University and are there any additional ways for our students uh, to get some additional um, payment, monthly payment from Kazan? So what is the amount of um, the uh, stipendia stipend at your university, roughly speaking? So I can uh, answer yeah. the question. Yes. Thank you. Um, uh, so about monthly stipend for bachelor's program, bachelor's student, it's about 2000 rubles in the month. And for master's degree, it's about 30, uh, thousand uh, of, of the month. And uh, for PhDs programs, it's about uh, 4,000 rubles in the month. And it depends uh, 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 from um, humanity uh, programs, it's th uh, uh, 4,000 um, rubles in the month, and for scientific uh, programs, it's about 10,000 rubles in the month. So, so it's enough to cover accommodation. So uh, also about a dormitory, it's yeah. about, um, around 2,000 uh, rubles in the month, of course, and... Um, Mm. Then another, you provide... me another medicine certificate uh, also uh, has uh, um, cost, it's about uh, 5,000 rubles. 
Yes. Okay. Thank you. And the university provides accommodation to international students. So no need to worry. So when students come to your university, so accommodation is provided. Yes, of course. So. Yes. yes they, okay. So they don't have to actually look for accommodation because the accommodation is provided. Thank you, Aigul. And I have a qu question to uh, to um, Valeria, to Lobachevsky National Research University. Do you have master's in psychology? And maybe I will give the floor, Valeria, to you for your final comments, um, final remarks, and maybe you would like to answer some questions orally. I guess we have already uh, answered all the questions in the chat that we saw while we yeah. were are, yeah, listening to our colleagues. You please uh, visit the website that we published in the chat and here you can see the our programs according to different degrees of education and here yeah. you can see the list of programs taught in english and you, here you may find the ones you are interested in and a huge list of programs taught in russian and it is uh, much bigger than our an english our taught programs list that's why the answer can be found there yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Valeria, uh, for your answer. And once again, uh, I would like to uh, advise all participants uh, of the Open Doors Russian Scholarship Project to check the website uh, of the Open Doors competition, um, which I shared with you in my presentation at the beginning of our webinars, because there you will find all the necessary information um, about the degree programs, web addresses of uh, all participants participating universities and whatever you may think of frequently asked questions the recordings of all, of all webinars and of course the schedule because i could see that uh, there were a lot of questions uh, when do we know about the results when the results are announced and how so you will how to prepare and you will find all this information on our uh, website and um uh, I, I time is flying fast and uh, um, we have managed to answer uh, many questions, but obviously not all um, because physically it's impossible. We uh, at the moment we have 247 participants and uh, the number of participants of the webinar, of course, varies, but uh, um, most uh, participants have questions. So if we, for one reason or, or another, did not answer your question during the time of the webinar, please do not hesitate uh, to forward your questions to the project office and you know um, where to look for uh, the uh, email address of the project office. Or if you need more information from our universities, you can write to the universities directly. And our guest universities today actually gave you all the uh, important links uh, to check where to check the information required or where to uh, forward your questions. So having said that, uh, I would like to thank uh, our guest speakers today um, of two of the best Russian universities, uh, Lobachevsky National Research University and Kazan uh, Federal University for their very informative presentations, um, describing in detail all the opportunities that the universities can offer to uh, our international students. And I would like to thank all participants for showing their genuine interest uh, in um, studying in Russia, in um, uh, learning more about the university. So I do hope we will welcome uh, many of you um, in September to our universities. And of course, I would like to thank my colleagues from the project office for um, uh, helping me in moderating this uh, webinar. So thank you very much once again. And I would like to uh, wish all participants good luck with the competition, with their uh, participation in the Open Doors project. And hopefully we will welcome many of you to Russia in September. Thank you very much and goodbye.